guys. I hope that uh, that this is coming across okay today. I forgot my little stand for the uh, for my phone, so I'm winging it. I actually have a box of crowns <laughs> and a paintbrush jar holding you up. So hopefully I'm in there. If not, I guess I'll just take it down. But anyway, down here at the Volunteer Comprehensive uh, Treatment Center. And we just had our uh, meditation activity class, so it's day 44. So uh, the meditation today, let me uh, read that to you. So today's meditation is about learning to value uh, guidance. And it is day 44. We come around there, and somebody might call in, and if that happens, it'll get, uh, I guess it's okay. <laughs> very nice class today. All right, learning to value guidance. In recovery, you know, again, when I first wrote this book, these were, um, I was at a place in my life where a lot of people had been influencing my recovery. So everything that I wrote in these books is due to other people helping me on my road. So on this day, this is what I wrote, and it applies as well today. So it's a now book, so everything can be applied to what's up in your life today. So think about this. Learning to value guidance, day 44. Hey there, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm gearing up for what God is allowing me to see with a level head. What I see is headed straight for the center of my mental world, and it's going to demolish what exists for something new to grow. I'm not looking for a way out anymore. Instead, I'm looking for ways to love somebody today, somehow, some way. God, thank you for guiding me to get more, to get mentally and emotionally ready. Bring on the day. All right, and then our, our little question at the bottom was, what new area is your higher power growing in you today? So the thing that stuck out in our, in our little activity today was about learning to value guidance was what the class had talked with, we talked about was a level head. Like that was something that was different for, for us. And we said that because the um, class was saying, because I think before I act. That's how we know we have a level head. And how do we know we have a level head? Well, for some of us, concerning uh, addiction. It is not doing drugs, not drinking. For other people who maybe don't do them things, it's not being destructive. We're not doing destructive things. We're in recovery. We care about what happens to ourselves and to other people. And then we, the other thing that had popped out from this meditation today uh, was, you know, seeing where there was new growth. So we see that there's new growth today and the people, the places, and the things that we surround ourselves with, right? That's important, like, for us to, to see in our own life that is there new growth? You know, are we still stuck in the same old, same old things that, you know, that maybe needs to get demolished? You know, we let our higher power in there to redirect us, right? And how's he going to do that? Through people, places, and things, different ones, right? All right, so also, we know that there's new growth because we're not reckless towards society today. Some of us you know, we took a lot of our stuff out in society and other people, and you say, well, I didn't do anything to society. Well, if you didn't share you with people, that kind part of you, that loving part of you, that sweet part of you, the part of you that likes to smile, well, then society didn't get that. It got maybe the grouch, or maybe you got, you know, you got you isolated, so you didn't give society anything. All right, so then there's new growth today because we let help help us to be better people. We take direction, we take action, and we do what we're supposed to do. And the little jewel from today came as, we don't look for credit for doing the right thing. We just do it. It's like, we do things because in our heart, that's who we have become. We don't do it because we want someone to pat us on the back or say, hey, you're doing a good thing or what have you. It is because 
you know, we're taking direction, we're, we're learning to value good guidance, and it has helped us to be better people. And we just do that because that is who we are at heart, right? Good. All right, so that's what happened in, in our meditation today, and we got some cool pictures I'll show you. Okay, we got this one. I'll just show you this one. See, I'm like a little kid. See? All right, and it says, you can't, you can't always be strong, but you can always be smart. That's pretty cool. You can't always be strong. For some days, you just feel, you know, like you don't, you know, you don't have it, right? But what this person is saying is, but you can always be smart and make a good choice, a better choice not to do things to harm yourself or to value guidance from somebody, a friend. You know, that was one on our support paper here. What were, okay, here. So on our supportive um, paper, we said, be a friend. And this all came from today's meditation. We said, be a friend, uh, listen. Uh, you may not be okay today, but it may be okay tomorrow. So we say, stay strong, hang in there, it gets better. God has a plan for you. And again, we say, be smart and remind yourself you don't always have to be strong, but you can always be smart by thinking before you act. So that is it. Can we play this and maybe you can get some help from other people who are helping themselves and you know, helping other people. So all these things from today's class will go inside anonymously because we only put our first name and the date and then they go anonymously into each book and when that person gets it, they get something that was printed but they actually get something from somebody in this class that will fall in their heart and who knows where it'll be at. But they're gonna get one today that says God has a plan for you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. And uh, there was something else that I had wanted to comment about. Was yesterday I had come up here and I had talked about, I had done the DNA test and, and uh, there was something I wanted to mention about it. And now, I'm sorry, it eludes me because my mind is elsewhere. But, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm sure I'll think of it and I'll, you know, I won't, get to put it up there, so, <laughs> sorry, I, sorry I even said anything, but, you know, so, again, we're not kind of planning any of this, but, uh, yeah, but, oh no, actually, I do remember, so, yeah, so, basically, the thing I was trying to say about the, uh, DNA test with the 23andMe that I came up and talked about yesterday, um, so, in comparing things, and, your, uh, when you find out the things you are. So most of what is uh, in my DNA is um, Italian, Filipino, and then they were able to go back and see, uh, go back, I don't know, like 40,000 years, and they found some Native American, some other things. So, uh, but the nice thing is, it does create a feeling of uh, being connected because they were able to connect me with I think like 1400 or 1400 uh, people who are related to me that I'm related to and you can choose whether or not you want to you know message these people or what have you which I haven't gotten through all the stuff yet but it was it's just nice because it just makes it just has created a, just opened the door to help me to value my ancestors and the, the things that God had made inside of me that kind of get a little bit more of an explanation and reaffirm some things that I had already known of myself. So yeah, it helps, helps give you more of a rounded picture which goes along with learning to value guidance, you know, um, and guidance from, you know, uh, your family, from your own family and you know, things that you can pull out of there that help you to be a decent person today to yourself and to other people. So having said that, uh, find some, you know, recognize where you're getting some guidance from today. I'm going to do the same. 
and you have a wonderful day doing whatever you're going to be doing in recovery. I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to try and pick this up without making y'all dizzy. Oops, sorry guys, but my handy dandy camera work. There you go. There's the board in case you couldn't see it all. I'll come around a little bit closer here and here. This is what I want you to focus on today, which is we don't look for credit for doing the right thing. We just do it. Love you, brothers and sisters. I'll do the same. Have a wonderful day in recovery, guys. Bye.